हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रवीण त्रिपाठी फैकल्टी ऑफ साइकैट्री एंड सो दिस इज अ वीडियो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर अबाउट टू अपियर फॉर द नीट पीजी एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव गॉट अराउंड थर्टी डेज लेफ्ट इनफैक्ट लेस देन थर्टी डेज लेफ्ट एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई बिलीव आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस लास्ट थर्टी डेज आई एल ट्राई टू कीप दिस वीडियो शॉर्ट सो दैट यू डोंट स्पेंड टू मच टाइम ऑन इट बट दीज आर सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू लिसन टू दैम प्रॉपरली और राइट दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट Uh, if you are one of those students who has been studying from the very beginning who has been studying for 8 months 10 months or an year this might be becoming important in your preparation this factor might be becoming important in your preparation i am hoping that for majority of you this is not valid for majority of you you are in a state of uh, uh, over uh, productivity at this point of time in fact you are working harder you are working more and you are not even thinking about fatigue if if that is the case wonderful but every year we see that a minority of students tend to start feeling fatigued or exhausted or tired by this time and you know interestingly this thing happens very commonly four or five students are studying in a group there is a group of friends who are preparing together and in the last month one of them starts saying that now enough is enough now i cannot study more i cannot absorb more information whatever will happen we'll see and the moment this one friend says this the rest four the remaining four friends also start feeling the same even if they were not feeling fatigued to start with now they start feeling fatigued and now they have difficulty in fo- uh, you know focusing or uh, they have difficulty in giving, giving enough attention this fatigue factor is always psychological in the beginning please remember it's always psychological in the beginning and if you can push yourself properly the fatigue factor would disappear now i am not trying to say this that every time a person feels fatigued it does not matter of course burnout is a real thing and in some cases it might be the beginning of a psychiatric issue but for most of you who do not have any history of psychiatric issues uh, fatigue is more likely to be something that can be taken care of by just motivating yourself and how do you motivate yourself a couple of days back i i recorded a video and i posted it on the youtube what to do whenever you feel tired or low in that video i tried uh, explaining in details the imagination techniques which tend to work the best whenever the motivation goes down so if you are one of those who feel that the motivation is going down you start feeling that now you, you start feeling fatigued please refer to that video it would definitely help you you just cannot allow your preparation to go haywire in these last 30 days we keep on saying we keep on repeating this thing that neat pg in fact all pg medical entrance examinations no matter how conceptual they become they would still be a good proportion of questions which are fact based and all those fact based questions would whether you get them correct or not would depend upon whether you were able to revise them or not in the last days so these last 30 days whatever you read whatever you revise it is going to be in fresh in your memory on the day of the examination you will see that the moment you see that question you will you would immediately get the answer correct without even thinking so ensure that you have as much as information available in these last 30 days in your recent memory i mean technically not recent memory but uh, as much information which is fresh in your memory uh because that is going to give you rich dividends on the day of examination all right apart from this another thing i want to discuss about uh, the fatigue factor is that stay away from the students who are talking about this thing if if a friend of yours is repeatedly talking about it or if a friend of yours has suddenly started you know spending less time with the books and you know doing other things saying that enough is enough try try staying away from that friend right because we have seen this fatigue factor is contagious it tends to spread very fast and it derails the preparation of many students all right the postponement factor now i just made a video on this that this postponement thing has become a thing which which crops up every year before the examination of course there are certain valid reasons why some of the students want exam to be postponed all those things that many interns are not eligible not going into the merits of those uh, points or those issues i just want to say that a large number of students is thinking about the postponement just because uh, you know that inherent tendency 
that what if I could get more time to study and this is something which is true for everybody. I mean, this is what I said in the last video also, had I been a student and had I been preparing for NEET PG 23 and had I been given an option of, you know, postponement of exam by a month or two at this point of time, a part of me would also have felt ki kaash postpone ho jaye. I wish it gets postponed, I'll get more time. This is just human nature, but you cannot waste time to, in, 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 in today's situation where the exam is less than 30 days away, thinking that the postponement will happen and you'll get more time. As I said in the last video, you cannot waste time today hoping that you will gain time tomorrow. It is ironical. Uh, it is actually uh, actually the exact opposite of what you are looking for. If you are looking for more time, how can you waste time today, right? So please don't check your Instagram, your Twitter or your Telegram groups repeatedly. Uh, people will keep on you know, adding some news or other and uh, all those things will keep on making you anxious. They will keep on derailing your preparation and in the end you will have nothing but the feeling of guilty, right? Last year also this happened, many students who were well on track, they were studying well, ended up, you know, getting distracted and later on they were very remorseful, they were very sad, very frustrated. Please do not let it happen to you. Now, while I'm talking about this whole thing that you should not waste time, I also want to remind you that even if you wasted some time, even if you wasted a couple of days, still 27, 28, 30 days, it's a significant amount of time. And if you just step up your preparation, you can make up for the time that got lost. So this is another problem that you wasted time and now you're very frustrated with yourself that I already wasted time. Now there's no point studying and you waste more time. We should not get trapped into these vicious circles. Even if you wasted some time, the right remedy is to put more effort to make up for the lost time, not to waste even more time feeling frustrated. Please remember that the game is not over. I keep on repeating this thing. The game is not over till it is over, right? We have to take the preparation to the last day. If the exam is on 5th of March, we have to ensure that we keep pushing ourselves. We keep studying hard till the 4th of March. You should not stop, right? Now in the last 30 days, whether you have been studying from the day one or whether you started late, this is going to be important, previous year questions. Uh, now a common question that is being asked is that, do we have to do the previous year questions of INICT as well as NEET PG as well as FMG? Ideally, yes. But if you think that there is not enough time less, uh, left, uh, have, a, have a realistic uh, uh, overview of your preparation levels. And if you think that you do not have enough time left, Focus more on the PYQs of the NET of the NEET PG and if possible FMG, you can skip the INICT questions. If at all, uh, you can do INICT questions for one year for the of the last two papers if you do not have enough time left. Uh, NEET PG PYQs are going to be more important, followed by uh, the PYQs of FMG. GTs, grand test. Now, this is something that happens every day. I get at least five messages every day that the GT score is not improving. And I, I took a GT today and I'm feeling very sad. The score is not improving. Please, if this is the case with you, please stop taking GTs, right? If, if they are making you depressed, if you're taking, they're making you feel uh, helpless, stop taking GTs. GTs are not that important. PYQs are much, much more important than any kind of GTs. As we have been saying uh, all this while, that many of these GTs, grand tests, are far away from the real questions that get asked in the examination. So they do not really reflect the level of your preparation. You can skip them altogether if, if they are not helping you. Even if you are doing good in GTs, don't, don't take more than one GT in 10 or 12 days. So practically you can take one or two more GTs and that's not mandatory at all. Please remember that. Now students, again, this is something that I keep on repeating that entrance examination is not only about the knowledge. It's also about how you handle the mounting pressure. As the exams come nearby, the pressure will increase and it's not always easy to handle the pressure. There might be times when you get up in the morning and you feel totally overwhelmed and you're like, it's no longer possible and I would never be able to finish the course. And some, sometimes you may even have this thought that, let me leave it today, I'll prepare for the next year. All those thoughts may come in your mind. Please remember, course is something that never gets completed. Even toppers who get rank one in AIMS or INICT, I, I interview all of these people every year. I am yet to come across a person who says that, sir, I completed the entire course. So even toppers cannot complete the course. 
there is no point even imagining that an average student would be able to complete the course so course never gets completed don't try don't don't get overwhelmed thinking how much course is left whatever you can cover as more than enough focus on more focus on how more can you cover rather than focusing on how much is left don't get overwhelmed secondly this whole thought that i'll prepare for the next year this is just an escape uh, we don't like pressure situations again we are all humans we don't like pressure situations we want to escape the pressure today we want to escape the anxiety today and this thought that i'll prepare next year is one of those thoughts right so there is no no point succumbing to this thought you have to take the preparation to the last day you do you should not think too much about what would be the result what would be the aftermath of the result what branch would you get don't don't fall into that mental trap don't think about those things one day at a time focus on one day at a time focus on you know ensuring that the the today is productive enough forget about you know all those mathematics sleep is going to be important uh you have to ensure that you sleep for at least 4 5 hours on the night of the examination if not 7 8 hours and even in this last one month it's very important that you sleep well uh how well you sleep is going to determine how much are you able to retain your your information gets retained and consolidated and merged with the existing information all happens during deep sleep and rem sleep and if you try to cut down on your sleeping hours it's going to harm you more than helping you in case you are having difficulties in falling asleep uh ensure that you are not thinking about the preparation or the exam like for at least one hour before going to bed uh thinking too much about how I will i prepare tomorrow or what will be what will happen in the exam might make you anxious might make you lose your sleep do not do that it's important that you wind down before going to bed at all if at all needed maybe you can read some non academic book for 30 minutes before going to bed or some some people like taking a shower before going to bed all those things may happen but sleep is going to be important do not try to increase your study hours at the cost of sleep do not do that at all at the same time please remember that even on the night of the examination or the night before if you are not able to sleep too much or if you are not able to sleep for 7 8 hours it's going to be fine the sympathetic arousal is so much on the day of the examination that some deficiency of sleep is well taken care of by the body right uh students keep on messaging me that can i take zolpidem uh, the night before see uh, legally i cannot prescribe you zolpidem via video in case you think you need zolpidem talk to a physician talk to a psychiatrist they'll prescribe you one please remember never ever make the mistake of taking any of these medications for the first time before the exam because you do not know how will your body react what if you become too sleepy so don't do that uh if at all you want to take any kind of medication whether it is zolpidem whether it is a beta blocker like propranolol it has to be done under the supervision of a psychiatrist and it has to be somebody whom you know please don't send me a message and ask me that sir give me a prescription i would not be able to do that i i already get so many messages i am also human i cannot help everybody right it's better that you reach out to your seniors or your friends rather than you know focusing on any single person in the end my dear friends my dear students i just want to tell you that today you might feel that this is going to be the most important day of your life and everything depends on this day but it's not right no exam no single exam is life or death your life cannot depend on any single examination you cannot become successful or unsuccessful on, on the basis of an examination it's just another examination and what else have you done in your entire life you are doctors you are medical students what else do you know of nothing all you know is study and take examination so this is your strong point right this is something that you have been doing since ages so it's just another examination let's not allow the anxiety to get better of ourselves uh, to get control of ourselves we have to ensure that the anxiety is limited and not not entertaining too many thoughts is one way of going about it right so please follow these things i'm i'm sure they would be beneficial to you in the end i just want to say that if you can take your preparation till the last day half the battle is won uh, won and uh, this year we have to take the preparation till 4th of march and after that whatever happens happens right at least we will have the satisfaction that i gave all i had after that result is in nobody's control we hope that the result would go your way but if it doesn't it's okay i mean it's not the end of the world all the best my dear students keep studying hard may god bless you all